Master, you're here. Sit. Thanks, Yano. <laughs> it's bacon and egg for today. I'm sorry I couldn't prepare much. You don't have to be sorry. This is enough. I smiled to Yano and ate the bacon on my plate. Did I get rabbit-shaped fried, ear uh, fried ears? <laughs> fried eggs? But where's Lance? He went out early saying he has work to do. I woke up early because of him. <sighs> Anyways, he's so useless. Red opened his mouth wide and yawned. <laughs> it's good if you wake up early. You have a lot of time. You know, you always defend him. Do I? Red got annoyed and told me. I wanted to laugh because he was whining like a kid, but I stopped since that would annoy him more. Not just you, but even at the academy. Everyone's always going, Lance, Lance, Lance. I can never understand, girls. What is it about him? He's beautiful. Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, Tay knows it. He looks good, he's smart, and he even has leadership skills since he's part of the student government. Everything about him is better than that red monkey. <laughs> what? I have my own strengths! Why doesn't anyone realize that? Red fumed again as everyone at the table told him off. It is true, we are doing him last, so it's probably a reason for that. <laughs> as he said, Red does have his own strengths. But no one bothers to point that out. Everyone seems to have fun teasing him. Hmm. It is one of his charms to make people want to tease him. Red grumbled and stood up in the end. Hmm. Then I'm going to go first. Huh? You're going? Yeah, I have rehearsal this morning. You're working really hard. Of course! I'm the lead! Okay. Good luck, Red. I smiled to cheer him up. Ah, He smiled back. Good. He's always bright and energetic, but he gets more excited when he talks about the play. He seemed to feel much better after I cheered him up. Red beamed as usual and said bye. Okay, then see you at the academy. Yeah, be careful. We continued eating breakfast after Red left. I should hurry and get up. He was really like the play to smile like that whenever we talk about it. I know, right? Yeah, it makes me feel good. Yana smiled and agreed. He then stood up and started getting his things to leave. Then I'll go ahead. Yana, you're going early too? Yeah, I was supposed to take care of the garden this morning. Everyone's busy. Oh, you might be able to catch Red if you go right now, so go with him. <laughs> that won't be possible. Red runs really fast. Okay. The master, take your time. I'll see you in class. Okay, see you soon. Yano gave me a smile and stood up. Red left and Yano followed. The table's pretty deserted today. I look at the empty seats Lance, Yano, and Red left. I think of how Red looked when he mentioned he had rehearsal. I'm glad they found things to work on. Red looks best when he tries hard at something. It's like he glows with passion. I think Red's looking better these days. He looks really cool. If Red heard this, he might have gotten mad. He would be yelling out that he was already cool. <laughs> I laugh to think of that. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Yuri's not impressed with me just laughing randomly. As I laughed without saying anything, Yuri started to glare at me. When I looked at him with a curious expression, Yuri frowned and asked, Darling, you're not into him, are you? I only have eyes for you, sweetie. Huh? He's cute when he works hard. Oh no, my honey, that can't do. That can't. What? What do you mean? When I asked, Yuri made a very serious face. I was wondering what he wanted to say, but it's this again. Uh... Don't you ever get tired? <laughs> Never. How can I ever get tired of trying to win over your heart? I wouldn't be able to call myself a real man then. I'm not the type to get busy trying to hide their true feelings like someone does. <laughs> I wonder who he could mean. For some reason, Yuri glanced at Tay. Tay glared back at Yuri. Huh? Huh? What's happening? 
But before I could think about it, Yuri hit on me again. Darling, stop playing hard to get and return my feelings. I want to so badly, but we already did that. Sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, but I'll eat first. I shook my head and kept eating, but Yuri's still beaming, not realizing I just <laughs> ignored him. I'm so used to him acting like this now. I feel like it's a part of my breakfast meal. <laughs> I love it when you play hard to get. <laughs> Yuri laughed as he stood up. I got up too and put the plates in the sink. And we went on with our day. Now then, should we get going? I'll get the car ready, so come down. Okay, I will. Hey, won't you take the bus with me today? Huh? I was about to follow Yuri when Tay stopped me. As I looked surprised at the sudden suggestion, Tay asked me again. I just wanted to take the bus like everyone else, but I'm not used to riding it by myself yet. I'd like to go with you. Would it be okay? Wait, what kind of game is this, Tay? Take the bus by yourself if you want to. The owner didn't say she wants to take the limo yet. <laughs> Yuri and Tay are starting another squabble. Ah, crap, I gotta pick between you two! Ah, uh, they never get along very well, but they must be starting another round. If I don't act fast, they might really start fighting. Oh, what do I do? As much as it pains me. I should probably take the bus with Tay. Who knows what shenanigans would we get up to in Yuri's vehicle? Can only imagine. Okay. Fine. I'm taking the bus. Oh, Yuri looks so shocked. Hmm. As Tay said, it's good to take the bus once in a while. Yuri, I'll take the bus with Tay today. Darling. Yuri called me looking devastated. I felt weak seeing him be more sad than I'd expected. <laughs> but I soon started explaining calmly. There aren't that many boys today. People will make more of a fuss if everyone knows it's just us three. I want to preserve my life, so I'll take the bus today. Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe you're going to ride that tuna can with that jerk. Yuri grumbled. I can't believe it. But he soon stopped and let it go. Never mind. A man needs to know how to back off. I'll let it go for today. Oh, Itay. Escort my darling so she doesn't get uncomfortable. I will devote myself to taking care of her. <laughs> Looks like I'm going by myself today. Yuri said, looking disheartened. Drive carefully. <sighs> Yuri sighed instead of answering. Oh well, there's nothing I can do. Then see you at school. Call me if you ever get sick of Tay. <laughs> I will. I know how to start your route if I ever want to again. <laughs> Yuri looked into my eyes, told me half-jokingly, half-seriously, and then left the house. After Yuri left, Tay let out a small sigh. <sighs> He's still not giving up. Well, that's just Yuri's personality. Well, then should we go? Okay. I soon left the house with Tay. You won, man. Quit harping on. Poor Yuri. Hey, Tay, can you tell me the time? This is the third time already. <laughs> on the way to the bus station with Tay, so many girls have been running to him with presents. It's as if they somehow knew Tay was going to take the bus today. Oh! <laughs> He's like, no pictures, no pictures. <laughs> Oh, so many ladies want your attention, man. I think they buy presents beforehand and keep them in their bags just in case they see them. They are so persistent. I kept an eye on Tay from a distance and watched everyone trying to give him gifts. I was witnessing his popularity firsthand. But as more and more girls approach him, I felt complicated. He feels like a person from another world. I feel like I'm so far away from him. I am actually standing far away from him, but I feel distant. I was even a bit tense since others might find out I'm going with him. I felt a bit upset for some reason. In the meanwhile, the bus came. The bus is here. Aren't you guys getting on? Let's get on together, Tay! Yeah, get on, Tay! 
go ahead first. I have something to buy. And I see another bus coming right behind. Tay said in a soft voice. Everyone's face turned red at his response. Ah, look at his smile. The thing, can you just take my present, please? Sorry, I can't take that. Tay? As Tay apologized politely, the girl looked like she wanted to cry. Oh dear. And she forced herself on the bus that was about to leave. Tay didn't come to me until the bus left for good. I also acted like a stranger in the corner until the bus completely left. And when the bus was about to leave for good, I carefully approached the bus station. Sorry, I was the one who asked you to go and I left you. No, but more than that... Are you really not taking their presents? They got it for you. I carefully asked him a question I've been pondering about. A lot of girls were giving him presents and letters, but Tay didn't take any of it. He just refused with a polite smile. Yeah, I can't take it because they prepared it for me. Their hearts are in it. Hmm? If I take just the presents, that won't be fair. Yeah. I now understand why. I can tell he's being kind to people who like him, although he doesn't necessarily like them back. Tay is always sincere to everyone. If it was Yuri, he would have taken everything. <laughs> and then tried to give it to us, don't forget. But we taught him, remember? We taught him how to give, put his heart into his gifts and stuff. Oh. Yet again, I realize how wonderful Tay is. I think it's good to treat everyone kindly. It's serious to like someone, so I have to be serious to them too. How do you know that it's serious? Have you ever liked someone? Ahem. Tay smiles without saying anything. I was just playing around, but seeing him not answer, I felt suspicious. What? You really have? Oh, the bus is here. Let's get on it. Huh? The bus is here pretty early. I saw two buses coming at the same time earlier. There might not be that many people in this one. Yeah. Tay made me stand up first and get on the bus. Hmm. I feel like he's evading. Hmm. But the bus arrived just in time and I couldn't ask again. I'll get you one of these days. Besides, when we got on the bus, all the girls in it ran to Tay and made a fuss again, so I couldn't think of anything else. Not that many people. Yeah, right. I ended up having to pretend to be a stranger again. This is worse than the limo. Hello? Wow, that was a long ride to school. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, thank goodness you guys are here. Hey. Hey, the weather's so good today, right? So I said brightly. I looked out the window at what Soy said. It wasn't raining, but it was dark from all the clouds. This is good weather? As I looked confused, Shan uh, Shanby, Shinby patted my shoulders and sat me down. Don't mind. Soy's weather's been so good from yesterday. Oh. Okay. I understand what she means. Ever since we went to Banjul, she seemed to be more hyper than usual. I want to see Tay in his uniform again. Will we be able to see him if we go today? What if he doesn't like me for being persistent? But I want to see him again! You guys do too, right? Soy held her hands together as if she was praying. Both her cheeks were red too. She looked so girly. I don't know about the uniform, but I do like the cafe. It's cool to see a harp so up close. Yeah, me too. I wish we could see him play it. Will we be able to one day? We will probably get the chance. Shimmy gave a small smile as if imagining the harp being played. So, about that waiter, he looks like he really likes harps. Are they that expensive? Didn't you hear, Mr. Hobbin? Apparently it's not that expensive these days. It'll probably be more expensive than other instruments, though. Yeah. Soy shook her head. You're so spoiled now since you ride Mr. Yuri's limo every day, but do you know how much the decorations in Banjul cost? I don't know the specifics, but it would amount to millions in the least. What? That much? Mr. Hobbin must be rich. I heard he's single. If you marry someone like that, you're secured for your whole life. You're basically winning the lottery. Alright. 
I didn't know the manager was that wealthy. Anyways, I feel like such a snob talking about how much money a man has. It's bitter. I was wondering why you were so quiet about his looks. Of course, Mr. Hobbin is handsome too. Cyan as well. If it were any other time, I would have liked them. So I nodded and agreed with what Chimby said. But right now I have Tay. Tay is just too handsome. Heart splashed up from Soy's eyes again. Shinbi's face changed subtly. I've never seen her like one person this much. I really mean it this time. Soy said while clenching her fists. For some reason, I was a bit scared of those two fists. If Soy knows that Tay lives in my house, wakes me up in the morning, and makes tea for me at night, dot dot dot, I'll need ten more lives. I saw her strong fists and reminded myself again. At all times and all places, I should watch my mouth and my actions. <laughs> Let's especially make sure Soy never knows. Ever. She can never know about this. Okay, got that cleared up. <gasps> Yay! Next is music. We have to move classes. If we don't hurry, we'll have to sit in the back. It's not exactly that I want to sit at the front, but I don't want to lose to Mr. Yuri's fans. Hey, let's run! What kind of excuse is that? So I looked impatient and looked at me reproachfully because I was just starting to pack my things. Hurry up! Everyone already went out! Then she left the two of us and ran away as if she couldn't stand waiting. She's got the right idea. She'll end up tripping. You take your time. I'll run and try to calm her down. Shinbi said that to me and followed Soy. I was suddenly left by myself. Sh Shinbi! They're both gone. The two were already at the end of the hallway. Huh? Uh, who could this be? Oh, Ma, that's gonna be Yano. Yeah, Yano. Yano. Huh? Ma, I mean, cutie. What are you doing here by yourself? Oh, Yano. Only you call me master. I turned around and saw Yano and Lance standing together. Hi, guys. It's been a while. <laughs> no one surrounded them, unlike usual. Probably because it's Yuri's class next. Girls can be so fickle. Tell me about it. We have to move classrooms next. Yeah, I was just about to go. Are you by yourself? Um, if it's okay, would you like to go with us? Yano approached me and carefully asked. He is asking me, but I can tell he really wants to go with me. But Lance looks a bit uncomfortable. Oh, no, you guys go first. I guess that's what Lance would want. Oh. We'll go together. What? I'm feeling all teary. Are you guys remembering stuff too? Ugh, gosh, this is going to be so weird. I can see that idiotic girl left you and went first. Oh, did he seem reluctant because he thought Soy would go too? <laughs> Understandable. Wow, is it just the three of us? I'm so happy. Before I could say anything, Yano came by my side. Isn't it the first time? Us going together without anyone else? Yano looks really happy. <laughs> I miss you guys. Lance didn't say much after that, so we quietly walked the hallway. There are a lot of people here, or there. As Yano said, the entrance to the music room was completely packed. There were too many people to just be our class, and most of them were girls. Get out! Thanks to that, we had no choice but to stand still before we even got into the music room. I know, is something happening? Is everyone here to see Yuri? I heard people talk while I was still amazed. According to my sirs, you can meet the whole hot five here. When Tay and Red's class leave the music room, it's Lance and Yano's class next. <laughs> Since Mr. Yuri, Tay, and Red are here, we just need Lance and Yano. After I heard their conversation, I understood. But still, I have no idea what the fuss is all about. It was as if they were in line for a concert or something. I'll go... Uh... Ahead first. 
If they realize I'm with the two people they're desperately looking for, I have no idea what will happen. I left Yano and Lance behind and moved first. Wait, there are too many people! I ignored Yano's voice and crammed myself into the crowd. People fought to keep their places here and there, and I was getting through them and moving forward bit by bit. Uh, excuse me. When I thought I barely got to the entrance, someone pushed my back. Ah! Thanks to that, I ended up tripping. Ugh, ah! There wasn't anyone where I fell. When I was about to stand up, I felt a sharp pain. Oh, I must have twisted my ankle when I fell. I moved only a bit, but it hurt. Oh, oh, which boy? Which boy could this be? Tay? Yuri? You okay? I was holding onto my ankle when someone approached me. I turned my head and looked at who it was. Oh, huh? It was a familiar face. <laughs> okay, it was you. Yes, I guessed the right one. Now, everyone, please move a bit. It was Tay who called me. Tay made everyone standing around me move. Everyone started staring at me since they all came here to see the Hot Five, including Tay. Tay ignored everyone and talked to me. Dude, you gotta play it chill. Play it chill or I'm gonna get trampled. Are you hurt? For a tiny moment, the hallway was completely silent. I felt like breaking out in cold sweat because of it. Tay held out his big, strong hand. Here, take my hand. N no I can get up by myself. Here. As I didn't take his hand, he lowered himself and held me up. My face turned red as he almost embraced me. <laughs> Excuse me! But before I could even feel the embarrassment, my ankle hurt again. Ugh! Tay frowned a bit, and people started to stir again. Who is she? Why is Tay holding her hand? Here we go again. <laughs> it was just as I expected. Oh, I knew this would happen. I instinctively felt the danger. I moved my body to back off from Tay a bit. Um, Tay, I'm fine, so let go of my hands. Are you seriously hurt? Uh-huh. Oh, no, I'm not hurt. I just twisted my... Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I was explaining everything to Tay when Red came through the crowd. I realized that he came back from the hallway at hearing people talk. What a lovely time for everyone to gather. <laughs> In front of people who gathered to see the Hot Five, two of them were fussing over me. <laughs> uh, please go away. Somehow sending you all away. Will they go back if I show them I'm fine? <laughs> I'm really fine. Where are you hurt? Huh? Let's see. But Red didn't listen to me and sat down to peer at my ankle. He must have realized I hurt my foot from the way Tay held on to me. Thanks to Red sitting on his knees, people started to stir more. Oh my god, even Red! Who is she? Isn't she a freshman? People started to stir more. Oh, I, uh, uh, I'm really fine. I told them while almost breaking out in tears. But Red thought that I was like that because of my ankle and looked more worried. I'm very, very thankful that you think of me that much, but could you please go away for now? What do you mean, fine? You look hurt. Get on my back, right now. We have to go to the infirmary. No, we can't send you to that psycho nurse. Let's just go to the hospital. To the hospital. Do you want me to carry you on my back? C carry On his back? That girl? Ah, uh, hurry and break my ankle. <laughs> no, it's just... I was about to say something, but Red turned his head and urged me to get on his back. If I stay like this, he'll force me to get on his back. If I really do, the whole school will talk about me. I'm surrounded by enemies on all sides. I cried on the inside. <laughs> How do you keep getting into these situations? It was at that moment. Yuri, please rescue me! <laughs> I was wondering what all the fuss was about and it was you guys. Hey, Cherry Boy, what are you doing? What do you mean, what? I'm trying to get her on my back. She fell and hurt her ankle. Hurt? Really? No, that's not what happened. I just twisted it a teeny tiny bit. As I said that, I secretly tried to move my ankle. Uh. I stopped myself from groaning, but I couldn't help but frown. I did sprain my ankle. Crap. 
Yuri stopped staring at me and came by my side. Oh, you're a teacher! You can escort me to the infirmary! That's perfect! I understand the situation. You're here for my class, right? Huh? Yes. Then the supervisor is me. Boy, you over there. M me Yuri pointed at a boy who was standing near. Yeah, you. You go to the infirmary right now and tell Mr. Eugen a patient with a sprained ankle is on her way, so he should get ready. The, the infirmary? Yes, hurry and go. At that moment, the boy's face was swarmed with worry. Okay. Go now. Uh, okay. In the end, the boy swallowed up his fear and ran to the hallway. Mr. Eugen must really scare him. Cherry boy, move over. I'm taking her to the infirmary. No! I can't trust that psycho nurse! He tried to take away my bones last time! If people in the academy hear that a student went to the hospital because she got hurt, we'll be in trouble. And you don't need to go to the hospital for this. The school nurse is a bit weird, but he'll be able to give first aid. It's not too late to go to the hospital after that. You don't know how hurt she is. She might have to go to the hospital. T take him away. Your class is over. I will. Tay seemed to agree with Yuri and approached us to take him away. But Red still looked confused and fought with him. Tay, you know that school nurse is weird, and you're still going to send her to him? Tay patted Red without saying anything and took him out. I could hear Red still screaming. <laughs> I'm glad at least one student listens to me. This teacher thing is too hard. And there's a serious problem with that school nurse's reputation. Yuri frowned at how annoying the situation was, and he waved his long arms to drive everyone out. Everybody out! You guys, there's nothing to watch. Class will start soon. Return to your classrooms. And president. Ah! Uh, yes! I didn't even realize Soy was there. She raised her hand high among the crowd. I'm going to take her to the infirmary, so keep everyone quiet. Yes, thank you for taking her. Soy seemed to worry about me too. And then she yelled towards the hallway. Now, now, everyone, please go to your classrooms. The bell will ring soon. And our class, everyone go into the music room. Everyone else realized it was time for the bell to ring and went their ways. And when the hallway got quiet, she glanced towards us and went into the music room. Finally, the crowd's dis disappearing. And darling here, lean on me. Can you walk? Yes. Thank you, Yuri. Yuri helped me walk. Even while going to the infirmary, I was more bothered by the glares towards me than my injured foot. I hope there won't be a big fuss. Ah. <sighs> 